Just days before the election, this young woman is trying to convince her fellow students to go out and vote. At the University of Virginia, many students are allowed to go to the polls for the very first time this year. Like 18-year-old Millen, he has already decided who he will vote for, Donald Trump. Uh, well, I'm a conservative by nature. I have a lot of conservative ideologies, and I hold those principles very near and dear to my heart. And I believe that Donald Trump is the most conservative candidate running, which is why I'm voting for him. I don't agree with all of his principles and all of his policies, but I feel like I align with him a lot more than I align with any other candidate. Millen is part of the College Republicans organization and has been endorsing conservative values since high school. His parents immigrated to the United States from India 20 years ago. They had to fight to be allowed to stay legally in the U.S. That's why Millen opposes illegal immigration. At universities, most young Americans are generally interested in politics, but in 2012, less than half of the country's eligible population under 35 went to the polls to vote. For some, the registration process represents an obstacle. This, however, is not the only reason. In general, they're less likely to vote. And so part of that may be that younger voters, in some cases, aren't sure that it matters. Uh, I, I don't think that's true of all younger voters, necessarily, but I do think that there are plenty who don't see you know, their vote having that much impact. Um, and you know, you know, that's clearly wrong. Skelly says first-time voters tend to be more liberal. Nearly two-thirds of young voters hope for a Democrat president. Biology student Hannah Beeman would have preferred Bernie Sanders in the White House. Now she supports Hillary Clinton, though a younger and more progressive female candidate would have been more inspiring. I think it was cool to have a really, like, a pretty young president when Obama was um, running for office, but I don't think that people will not vote because the candidates are old, because I think it's pretty... Um, the issues still really pertain to young people and we're still really um, moved and polarized and these next eight years matter a lot to our lives. Hannah will be knocking on doors for Hillary Clinton on election day. She trusts the Democratic candidate. As a possible new president of the United States, she will put the focus on young people.